Okay, now you've modelled the uh, two components, the corner cube and strut, using Creo Elements Pro. Um, here are just a few ideas of how the kit might be extended and how you might develop your own modelling skills by practising these similar but slightly different uh, components. So imagine we have a, a corner component based on not a cube but um, a hexagon. So if we draw a hexagon as a, a solid hole on this face and a hole on each one of the other faces. You can see how this might be uh, a slight variation on the cube and in fact there is a, a palette of geometric shapes within Sketcher um, that would give you this. Maybe uh, a corner based on an octagon. Um, slightly easier to draw in as much as the octagon fits quite nicely into a, a cuboid shape and again holes on each one of the surfaces. There are examples of these two components in the folder of, uh, of parts that you downloaded for, for this activity. Um, you might envisage creating wheels um, so that we can actually make the uh, the construction mobile. Um, it would be possible with the um, octagonal or hexagonal centre to create a wheel based on those components. I'll just draw part of the wheel and you might want to create the rim with flats so that the spokes will fit in between and to allow for assembly each one of the rims might be segmented uh, along these lines. Once you get to building framework structures um, you may have a cube based frame much like the ones that you were shown how to install uh, to assemble as part of the tutorial and on this end instead of having um, corner cubes we might develop uh, a flat panel with a thin shelled feature these are the holes for the pegs to fit into from behind um, it may actually need ribs running around here support these corner bits. So there's a fair bit of development um, that might be possible. Components such as this. Um, thinking along the lines of geometry, maybe if we look from the front and we build a, a model with cubes and struts such as this, but instead of cubes we put in octagons at these positions here there are some diagonal 45 degrees to the horizontal lines here. The problem with this um, although these meet at a, a corner so we could use either a cube or an octagon the distance here isn't the standard 100 millimeters between centers 
it's shorter so you would have to develop a shorter strut for that situation. So here are some ideas for different components and different ways of assembling the kits. The uh, limitations are only your imagination plus of course the modelling techniques for doing some of these which you may not be familiar with at the moment. Uh, if Once you are accredited with the basic task you can go into our Precision LMS learning system which will give you the answers to all of these and many many more modelling techniques that you could use to extend your expertise. Hope you have fun with Creolements Pro.